Hi, welcome back to Scooby D. In this episode, we take on a really moderate, easy walk in an area that I've not visited before in the South Lakes called Arnside. This walk is five miles and it takes on beautiful beaches, um, panoramic views of the estuary and the Bay of Morecambe, Morecambe Bay. I like my vlogs to be inclusive of all abilities and ages and uh, I thought I'd try this one out. I've never been to this part of um, the South Lakes before so uh, I'm pretty keen to see what it's all about as well. I hope you enjoy it and again leave your comments below about whether you think the UK can cut it as an outdoor destination. Welcome back to Scooby-D. So we're taking little short trips at the moment in the UK in between uh, doing um, some stuff at home. And uh, we've been climbing with an old friend up here in um, Lancaster way. Well, this past Lancaster. Anyway, we've got a park for night in um, Sandside, which is uh, this massive estuary. It's the end of an estuary. And isn't it beautiful? Apparently, let me just get that so I can see it. Apparently when the uh, sea comes back in, it comes back in really fast. It could be like 10 miles an hour. So when you hear the bell, you've got to make sure you're not on any of these sands. And there's also sinking sands here as well. It just flows back into this estuary, the end of this estuary, grange over sands, really fast. But look at that, isn't that stunning? What a lovely evening. It's 19 degrees, Scooby and I are here. We're parked up in a uh, park for night, which is actually a pub called The Ship. And we're gonna have a beer in a bit. It's quite busy in the bar, but they've got lots of outdoor spaces. Uh, what do you think, Scoobs? You having fun? You just wanna play ball, don't you? Look at you, look. Oh, you've got one, one paw cocked and everything. Are you ready to play ball, Scooby? Are you ready? Okay, ready? there's a timetable and today's the 16th so the high water which will be at 10.30 which is only half an hour away doesn't look very high at the moment <laughs> it'll be 7 meters 20. Ah so uh, hey we're doing a recommended walk called the Arnside Knot today we we're supposed to be climbing but as with all British weather uh, it's been good all week whilst I've been inside working and today it's uh, there's a good chance of rain 90% so we're doing this walk that's been recommended which is called the Arnside Knot and Scoobs is super excited about it we start off in Arnside which you can see here is a really stunning uh, seaside town even on a dull day like today So it's an easy walk, um, 5.3 miles, two and a half hours, at 200 meters elevation. Lots of nice little quirky shops here as well, look. Check that out, look. Home, home interiors, posh sardines, whatever that is. The coast office, seashells, boutique shop. Yeah, quite a, quite a pretty place actually. I've never been here before. Huh, so walking down this uh, estuary really is stunning, actually. I've never been on this side. I was looking at getting a beach bungalow at one time over there in the distance over there in a place called Baycliff. Um, but I've not been on this side. The sun sets on this side and it's, uh, it's really stunning. Even on this uh, grey summer's day, which is uh, quite normal for the UK, I've even packed the waterproofs and the waterproof trousers. Uh, ready for the onslaught of rain, which is no doubt going to come with this gloomy day. But it actually adds to the atmosphere a little bit, having this, um, I don't know, perhaps because it's been so warm lately, this is a novelty just today to have it, uh, this kind of dark, gloomy day. Um, it's not particularly cold, it's just, a, it's just a bit dark. 
Scooby's loving it. She's uh, just running around there, chasing, chasing all the seagulls and anything else that she can chase, aren't you, Scoobs? You having a good time, babe? You having a good time? What have you done to your leg now? I've said it before, um, and I thought it was worth repeating. I think it's great when you're walking just with your dog. There's something about it that um, just being on your own, seeing the fun that the dog's having, and enjoying that moment is really special. I mean, hiking with friends is great if you want to catch up. You can have a really good catch up, and you've got the sort of walk that keeps you kind of, I don't know, it keeps the conversation bouncing along. And that's great as well. However, I do really enjoy just walking with me and Scooby. There's something about it that you just get in that moment really quickly. I think when you're talking to people, you can get lost in the moment on the subject that you're talking to. So you bring that energy of that subject, positive or negative, you bring that with you. When you've got the dog, yeah, you might be stewing over things in your back of your mind subconsciously. But it's a great feeling. I don't know. I guess dog walkers know what I'm talking about. I think with climbing, you really do need a partner and it's great to share the climbing experience. If you're bouldering, you can have a few people. If you're climbing, just you and your, 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 your climbing partner. And uh, on my last trip, it was quite frustrating not being able to find people all the time, uh, actually. But with the walking and the hiking, it's, it really doesn't matter. You can, you can catch up with an old friend or just uh, be in the one, be in the moment with this fantastic scenery all around you. Ha. Huh. So I'm wondering now whether what I'm filming is the Arnside Knot or am I just standing under an old tree that happens to have two trunks? I don't know. But um, yeah, I think uh, this possibly could be it. So the view, we just have a look at that up here, is, uh, well, we'll go up to the viewpoint and uh, put, it, put it back. <laughs> so I guess that's the view from the top here. Um, we probably climbed up, it's not that high, we probably climbed up, I'm guessing about 75 metres. But it's a really nice walk this, if you're looking for an easy walk, it's going to take us about two hours, uh, maybe a fraction over if you stop and chill out and have a cup of tea, obviously. Uh, but um, yeah, really good actually. Yes, again, a great recommendation from the pub. Uh, I say yes again, because I've used the all apps. That's what I was going to say there. But firstly, it was a great rec uh, rec recommendation. Get the words out. First of all, it was a great recommendation from the ship pub. They said that this was the walk to do in this area. And it hasn't let me down. It's been a nice little walk. I'm really thinking that this walk is quite quiet for a walk that's supposed to be incredibly popular. But if you do it the other way around, this is what you get. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, definitely do the beach first. Oh, it certainly worked for me today. But the view's better here anyway. So I thought I'd do a technical tip, which I tend to find myself doing on these walks. I very rarely wear fleeces these days, but for walking, I do think a fleece and merino wool is really good because your temperature changes a lot. And what you want is stuff that breathes um, and stuff that lets out your perspiration from your body. And fleeces do that really well, as does merino wool. And they have a good tolerance to water. Uh, so if you get them wet, they stay warm and on the whole stay reasonably comfortable. Um, yes, so I was going to say something else then, but I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, I would really recommend a, a, a boring old fleece like this, which I've had for 10 years in a nice bright colour um, for walking. It makes a great overlayer in variable conditions like we've got today and makes a great mid layer um, if it gets a bit cooler. Windproof fleeces are also very good for colder conditions. 
they don't breathe half as well, um, but they do breathe a little bit. Uh, and I use one of those for when I'm doing winter walks. I would buy the fleeces quite close fitting, uh, just so basically you're not getting caught when it's windy. All your walking gear should be quite close fitting so you're not flapping around in the wind, but enough room to move in for close fitting. You probably know all this, but hey, I thought I'd do a bit of tech talk. Tech talk D. D's tech talk. I've got to think of something that, that's catchy with that, haven't I? Tech Talk with D. That's quite good, isn't it? Tech Talk with D. Just coming back into Arnside, and uh, it takes you in this road. And these houses are absolutely stunning. Look at these. I'm not sure what they were built for back in the, I guess, uh, late 18th century, but they're really stunning. What a wonderful road. Well, I hope you enjoyed that content. And if you did, leave your comments below about whether the UK cuts it against Europe when it comes to the great outdoors. We'll be back next week with another fantastic hike. We'll see you then. Bye from Scooby and me.